Okay, let's show a quick demonstration of the NetExpert XG doing a qualification of a 10 gig cable. We've got a CAT 6A link here, so we've got a patch panel here installed here at the Bixie Show, and we've got cabling running over the rack here to a few of these outlets here. We've got some good cables and bad cables here to show how the XG actually tests that, that cable. Okay, so I've got the main unit. I've got uh, some cable labels pre-made here. I can go ahead and cue one up. So we've got another one pulled up. I'm ready to test this cable label, cable-3 Cal061. I'm going to go ahead and plug into an outlet with my little reference cord here. And then I'm going to grab my remote unit and plug that in as well. I'm going to grab the remote here, take that lead and plug that into the remote end over here at the outlet. And let's just go ahead and start a test. Again, I've already got one pulled up. I'm actually testing uh, unshielded cable here. So I've pulled up a, la a label or a type of cable that I'm looking for here. So it's not looking for shielded cable. It's looking for 6A grade. And it's looking to test to 10 gig. It's going to link up first. And it's going to run a wire map. It's going to run a uh, skew, delay skew, signal to noise ratio. And then at the end, it's going to also look for a BERT test, which is a bit error rate test. Advantages of this is we're not looking for uh, we're not looking for the loss levels and stuff that you're typically looking for on certification. We're testing essentially to IEEE standards and uh, looking for acceptance to to those standards. Okay, so we've got a result here. This is a 10 gig cable run. You can see the wire map. Uh, all four pairs are okay. I can see the length of each pair, I can see the skew of each pair, and I can see the signal to noise ratio of each pair. Bit error rate test has zero errors. Errors, that's a 10 gig cable, that simple. 